Hi, my name's Tom. I was sent this next product to go ahead and tell you all about it, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is a hand blender, stick blender, kind of a chopper, an all-in-one sort of a tool. Uh, this is an electronic tool. You do plug it in. It works really, really well. My wife and I have used this for off and on for about a week or a week and a half now, just kind of doing it with various projects. Uh, we've used it a couple times. We've cleaned it. We've washed it. We've put things away, pulled it back out. I have all the details about it. Let me go ahead and show you some of the cool things that come with it, first of all, and then we'll talk about what it can actually do. So let's go over everything you get here. You do get the actual stick blender unit yourself here. It's got a turbo button as well as a power button and an adjustable uh, control button. We'll talk about that. You do get a little converter unit. You get a frother. You get a uh, whisk here. You do get a cup for whisking things in, for mixing things in. This is good for smoothies. You do get your standard kind of your stick blender blade. There you go. For kind of a chopping blade. Uh, and this fits on the end there. The you also get a chopper device or a chopper uh, container. This actually is kind of like uh, this is kind of like a ninja in the fact that you actually have a little chopping blade there, and then you put that you put things in there. You can put frozen fruit and nuts. You close it up, and then you go ahead and you use this with this it kind of works pretty well together you also get a little instruction manual and you do get a little tiny cookbook as well uh, the cord itself on the power thing is only about 40 inches that's a standard uh, safety measure so just be aware of that depending upon where you need to use it in your kitchen so let's talk about the actual blender itself this is the unit it's plugged in when it's plugged in it has these cool little blue lights so you can kind of see the aha yes it is plugged in it's ready to go uh, it is a heavy duty unit this is all metal this is a solid build here um, when my wife first picked it up she said holy smokes this is better than our name brand stick blender uh, and it is it really does feel pretty nice you have two buttons on it you have a power button and you have a turbo button uh, but you don't probably need the turbo button all that often because you also have a speed control on top. This actually controls how much you're going to run. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press the power button and then I'm going to turn the speed up. It's like 1 to 20. You have a lot of different variations. So here we go. So I can hear it spinning. And as I turn it, it turns faster and faster and faster. And then I hit the turbo button. It really zips. It really kind of, you can even hear it a little more. Uh, I haven't had much of a need for that, be honest with you, because I usually stick it between either the low setting or kind of the mid to mid-high setting, and I haven't had a need for anything like a turbo. Uh, all the way, the way these buttons work is you press them in, and they're on, take your finger off, and it stops. Uh, you really shouldn't run it for more than a minute on a high or a turbo setting, because it can go ahead and get pretty warm sometimes. Uh, but as long as you're kind of mixing, mixing a little bit, let it go, kind of see what you have, go back in, mix or chop, uh, you'll be fine with it. Again, this has been really, really nice. The instruction manual does have a bunch of little settings for what it says is, okay, for, for milk frothing and for egg whites, you want to stay on the low settings, like one to six. Uh, and you can actually see the little numbers on there. I don't know if you can see it, but they are on there. Uh, for anything higher than that, you can, you can kind of, depending upon what you're doing, you can crank it up to 10, 15, 20, or anything in between. Uh, I've just kind of played around with it a little bit. Uh, and we've said, yeah, okay, yeah, that's pretty good. It's a, it's a speed difference. It is a power difference. But with most food, you don't need a lot of power. So I've kind of, again, stuck in the middle, and it's been fine. So let's see it actually work. I'm going to go ahead and just do some egg whites real quick. Uh, so I'm going to get the adapter unit. And the way this works is the adapter. It's got a little locking mechanism there. It's got a little arrow right there. And you just line it up, and you twist it so that it's locked. There we go. Now it's locked. And I'm going to go ahead and use the whisk. And I'm just going to click it in there. Uh, it's just kind of like a blender. And then I'm going to press the button. Okay, there we go. Is it nice and there, nice and straight? Yeah, it's pretty good for a whisk. Now, I'm going to whisk egg white. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. That was a little high. What am I at here? I'm about five. That's probably pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this cup. I'm going to take my egg whites. And I'm just going to, I just separate it out a little bit. I'm just going to pour them in. I don't have a lot there. I only have two eggs worth. But let's see what happens. Let's just kind of put it in here and uh, let's just kind of go. And it is starting to froth a little bit. Getting a little more. I uh, didn't, it's not a real meringue. I'm not putting anything else in here. It's just egg whites. It's 
You can see two egg whites is now about two or three inches up the sides. And let's see here, it's still a little bit loose. I don't quite have those peaks, but you get the idea. Ah, there we go, wait a minute. And we're getting there. We're getting that. That's pretty good. But you can see two egg whites in what? About a minute, minute and a half there. I'm um, just kind of playing around talking. It is nice and thick. I can actually kind of pull chunks of it out a little bit there. Uh, yeah, that worked really well. Okay, let's do the same sort of thing with uh, the milk frother. Again, I'm just going to kind of put it in there. Uh, you just kind of twist it, put it in, just kind of like a little beater. And let's see here. Here we go. It spins a little bit. Let me straighten it out a little bit. Now, I'm going to use a glass. I'm not even going to bother using the cup. I'm just going to put this straight in and let's see here. Doesn't take long at all. Okay, it's a little frothy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it up a little bit. There we go. Ah, oh, that's working better. This is fat-free milk, so it's not going to froth a whole lot, but I'm getting there. All right. That's probably about as frothy as I'm going to get fat-free milk. But you can see it is nice and frothy. It started out with about an inch, and I got about four or five inches of milk there. And again, about a minute. That's all it takes. Really, really fast. Really nice. So let's go ahead and use a chopper now. Uh, the chopper has its own little uh, locking mechanism. So what you want to do with the blender is take the existing mechanism off. This is used for the whisk and the frother. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put it onto there in a second. But first, I'm going to go ahead and put some something in here to go ahead and chop. Now you can put meat, you can put nuts. I'm going to use a little bit of frozen, frozen blueberries there. There we go. Did I drop one? One roll, one rolled away. There we go. So I have some frozen blueberries. This is great for smoothies. I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, click the cup on it just kind of slides in and it clicks and then i go ahead and i click this in where's my oops where's my arrow there it is i lock it in and here we go now you can see because they're frozen they're making some noise but i'm very quickly it made very short work of them I might want to, there we go. I'm going to open this up and you can see it made very short work of them. I probably should go ahead and throw some liquid in there so that it kind of pours down because they're all frozen, but they completely obliterated those blueberries, frozen blueberries in just, what, 30 seconds? Uh, it really does very sharp and it works really well. Here's one more quick demo. I'm going to go ahead and take these roasted vegetables. This is butternut squash with a bunch of tomatoes and garlic and onions. I'm going to take all of those. I'm going to go ahead and add them to a great big crock pot. And I'm going to use the stick blender to go ahead and make some soup. Okay, so here's some of the garlic. I've already put some uh, vegetable broth in there. There's the garlic all crushed out of their cloves. And here's the rest of the roasted veggies. And because I use parchment paper, I should be able to just kind of Get them, most of it to just pour right in. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it on about medium speed. I'm going to go ahead and put the actual uh, blending stick on. Let's see, here we go. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of go up and down and just slowly turn this into a little bit of a soup. This is very sharp, by the way. So here we go. Just going to kind of press it down a little bit and. You can see how quickly, you can see how quickly it goes ahead and turns this into soup. You can use this for mashed potatoes. I could go ahead and if I had a smaller container, I could use this for, uh, Now, 
I'm not going to use heavy cream because I want to go ahead and boom up the protein in here. I'm going to put in two big scoops of cottage cheese. It's probably a little more than a cup there. And I'm just going to go ahead and use that instead of the heavy cream. When you actually go ahead and use a stick blender, you do not want to go at an angle because it can shoot it out. You want to go straight down just like this. I'm using an extra wide pot just so you can see it. Uh, but if you had a kind of a taller, uh, smaller pot, that's fine. You can still go up and down. By the way, cleanup is pretty straightforward. All I have to do is kind of tap it a little bit. Now, in this case, the soup just comes right off, as you can see. But then I can just go ahead and twist and unlock it. My actual blender unit is still in my hand, still plugged in, I can use it for something else. But I can go take this over to the sink, I can go ahead and rinse it, I can wash it out, and then be ready to go for the next thing in a matter of just minutes. So as you can see, this machine has a lot of cool uses. Uh, it's not just one tool either. It's a multi-purpose tool. It's not just a stick blender. It's not just a frother. It's not just a, a stirrer or a mixer. Uh, it's not just a chopper. It is all those things. This powers it all. I love this fact that it's variable speed. You will find your speed with that, whatever you need. Again, the instruction manual has things in there, but you can kind of adjust that and that makes a big difference in how much and how you chop or how fast, uh, even the kind of the grade of what you're getting with a stir or a mix or even kind of a blend. You kind of get a, you, you get a feel for it once you use it a little bit. Uh, I love the fact that it has those, those blue lights on there. Everything comes together if this is heavy duty. This is a nice, solid machine. Uh, I see this lasting for years and years here in my kitchen. Uh, it's a really a great tool, a great gift, uh, and it's really, really highly recommended.